as Nigerian Senate passed the part of the petroleum industry bill, we continue to dig into a document some people have debated that it's perhaps a watered-down version of the original. A Kogi senator and some other Kogi elders are asking for the resignation of Governor Yaya Bello of Kogi said and also threatened impeachment on the governor after INEC accuses the governor of double registration. That's one of our focus tonight on the program. And thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics Today, this Friday, live on Channels Television. I'm Sean Joaquin Baloye in Lagos. Strap your seat there, wherever you are, and let's get started on this conversation tonight. The statement of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, over the double registration of Governor Yahya Bello of Kogi State is generating so much controversy now. Today, at a press conference in Abuja, the nation's capital, a senator, Senator Dino Melaye, and some uh, Kogi citizens, plus some elders, are asking for the governor's resignation because of this. And they are also saying that if he does not resign, they are ready to make the House of Assembly impeach him. Anek had said the governor registered twice as a voter in Nigeria, and action the electoral umpire says is illegal. Anak in a statement signed by its National Commissioner and Chairman of Information and Voter Education Committee, Mr. Solomon Shoyebi, says Governor Bello first registered on the 30th of January 2011 in the Wuse Zone 4 area of Abuja, the nation capital, and then registered for a second time on Tuesday, the 23rd of May 2017 at the Government House, Lokoja, the capital of Kogi State. The senator insists the governor is not fit to be in office. This have underscored the fact that when the governor contested the balance of our election, as at the time he was contesting that election, it shows that he was not a registered member of I and he was not registered, uh, he's not a registered, he was not a registered voter in Kogi State. So since you know, he was not registered in Kogi State, why did he, in the first state of initial, accept the candidacy of the party? So on this note, we are saying that um, we are calling immediately for the resignation of the governor. And if the governor refused to resign, we are going to mobilize our members in the House of Assembly to start an impeachment process against the governor. Interesting times indeed for the people of Kogi State. We see how these all pans out. So the Kogi State government had not officially come out on this one but uh, some of the information we are getting from the Kogi state uh, government officials are that they are not moved by any threat of impeachment coming from senator dino melaye and some of the other people who are present today at uh, the press conference uh, held in abuja where the electoral umpire says the governor's action which it terms as double registration and registering outside INEC designated center is illegal and INEC says it dissociates itself from such. INEC went further to state in that statement that it did not authorize any of his staff to re-register Governor Yaya Bello and outside a designated voter registration center. INEC had promised to take disciplinary action against the INEC staff involved in registering Governor Bello. INEC, however, says it is handicapped in prosecuting Governor Bello as he is protected by law, which everybody knows, immunity clause while in office, but has cancelled the governor's second registration. <laughs> 